I just finished getting ready because I have an early morning doctor appointment. My six week checkup. We actually have a doctor appointment to go to for me for once instead of for Jacob. But I just put him down for a nap and he did just wake up but he's all peaceful and happy. Uh, and now I have to put him in the car seat and it's such a bummer. Oh great, I have to move you and you're in such a good mood and I know he's just going to be so upset. But once he's in the car seat and in the car and we're moving, he's totally fine. I'm bummed I have to move him when he's so happy. Are you so happy right now? You're all swallowed up and you're cozy. I put a blanket next to you because you kept wanting to be held and so that made it feel like you were being held. Oh, we gotta go though, okay? Are you gonna be happy for me? You look pretty happy. I think we can do it. So I made it to my doctor appointment, but I had to wake him up from his nap, which made him very upset. <laughs> so he was crying the entire time we were in the waiting room and crying pretty much the whole time the doctor was in here with me. And so I decided after I was done with my appointment with the doctor that I would feed him and calm him down. So now he's happy and just eating, but now I'm stuck. So I'm just waiting <laughs> till he's done. Hopefully he'll calm down when he's done because he was not a happy camper. I was that parent in the waiting room whose kid was just screaming. I was like, I can't do anything. He won't take a pacifier and I can't feed him in his car seat or in his stroller. So sorry guys. <laughs> So I'm hanging out on the couch here with baby boy. He's finally calmed down because he got some lunch. Mommy got some lunch, so I feel better too. <laughs> I'm watching Netflix. Look what Zeus did. Um, Zeus? He even paused it for me. Zeus, you're adorable, but you paused my show. <laughs> Hi, Athena. How you doing, little one? You relaxing? Yeah. I'm relaxing too. Tomorrow I work from home, so that's cool, right? We can hang out together while I'm working and typing and stuff. You can hang out with me next to the computer. And then what's this guy doing over here? Wiggling as usual. Wiggling? Mm-hmm. Are you wiggling, sir? Never sit still. Never sit still? Whoa, do you see yourself? You see yourself in the camera again? <laughs> I think he's looking at himself. His eyes are all big. He's that's, like, what the that's, heck? That's what you look like, little man. Oh, snap, crackle pop. So look at that. Walk. Look at the fluffiness, look at the sausageness, look at the pepperoniness, look at the cheesiness, look at the crustiness. Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? We are here because we forgot to uh, ask a question of the week. Oops. We still want Wednesday's video to have you guys in the video. We still want to do a comment video. We're going to pop up some comments in response to them. From my birth story video that I put out this week, Jen says, Eek, here I am wanting kids, but the pain you describe that comes with it scares me. I'm glad that you shared your story. It does help the soon-to-be mommies and those future mommies see what they should be prepared, what they should prepare themselves for. That is so true, and don't be too terrified. <laughs> but I would say it's healthy to be scared of that pain because it friggin' hurts. But I don't know. I, I liked putting out that video and kind of letting you guys know what I went through. Lisa Rance from the same video says, "Already a month old. It went by so fast. Great story. Thank you for sharing that." It went by way fast. A month is gone already. Great. From our Monday vlog, Baby Filled Weekend, Hyper Curiosity says, if it makes you feel any better, my son has two teeth and working on two more and he's only bit me once. Ah. Ooh, I unlatched him and said, ow, and then stopped nursing him. He just looked at me bewildered and hasn't done it since. Teeth aren't as scary as they seem. How is breastfeeding going after his tongue tie release? Oh my gosh, so we mentioned that we thought maybe that Jacob might be teething. I'm st we're still not really sure if he is or not, but he has been really fussy lately. So I really hope he's not teething because I don't want to be bit. But she says teeth aren't as scary as they seem. I don't know, I'll believe it when I actually have teeth to deal with. Relearning to do, I guess, with his latch. But besides that, it's going a lot better. It's still a lot of work though. This one's from Kristen. Oh, Andy, I had no idea your first month with Jacob was that difficult. You hit it very well. Your mom intuition came on quick and you found an answer with the mom's group. That's awesome. Always listen to your gut. Hoping your baby blues lift now that things are getting better. I can understand postpartum depression as I suffer from depression as well. Hopefully Jacob's smile and coos help with your blues. Hugs to you. Thank you for sharing update with us. That was a good comment. That was very sweet. <laughs> that's that's very sweet of you. I didn't get no hugs. Ben wants to know how the cats adjusted to having the baby around. 
Those are very distracting. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking oh, about. Okay. Well, they've done really well, actually. Zeus doesn't seem to care about Jacob one way or the other. He does smell him once in a while, but he really just doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, and Athena's fine. Yeah, Athena is more watchful of him, and she likes to know where he is all the time. And if he's in the swing out front, then she likes to sit near him. Or if she's in, if he's in the car seat or the stroller, then she's always sitting and watching him. So she's a little more aware of him, whereas Zeus just doesn't care. Jenna on the good ship says, such a nice family. Oh, we have a little family now. Yes. Celeste says, my delivery was long and pushed for four and a half hours. Oh my gosh, just the pushing part. And tore so badly that eight months later I had to have corrective surgery. Ugh. Thank goodness for epidurals, in my case anyway. I'd do it all over again if I could. My son is very much worth it all. <sighs> Ow. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. That's all I have to say to that. Like Yvonne says, adorable Jacob. He is smiling so much lately. Mm. Yeah. He is. It's cute. And we're lucky we've been able to get pictures of it. Ronnie says, oh, it'll be Jacob's first Thanksgiving. So cute. Jacob's growing up so fast. Oh, when Jacob was doing tummy time and cried a little, Teddy, that's her dog if you guys didn't know, Teddy was looking at the iPad and he's like, why is the baby crying? What's that noise? His face was so adorable. Jacob is an active baby. I need to meet him soon. Yes, you do. Let me know when you want to come over so you can meet him. And <laughs> I wish I could see the look on Teddy's face when he heard the baby crying. <laughs> I'm sure he was like, huh? So these ones are from today's vlog. Megan says, that grumpy face was priceless. I am so glad you were able to get out of the house and visit friends. Yes, it was much needed. Yeah, and the Jacob baby sad face was, is always hilarious. <laughs> it's he was so, so funny. Upset. He's like, don't wake me up. Mm. Yeah, this like sad look, like this like. Mm. <laughs> Nanny says, you guys are so cute. <laughs> Kim Love, aka Best Kim Ever, says, so many babies. I love it. There's babies everywhere right now. Everyone's got them babies. <laughs> and then pretty soon, you're gonna get the babies, and then you're gonna get the babies, and then you're gonna get the babies. Everybody will get the babies. And the last comment from today is from Jess. <laughs> she quoted us, Mommy doesn't like being woken up either, but guess who wakes me up all the time? Points accusing finger. Yeah, seriously, wakes me up all the time. <laughs> you could not be more right about that. Sorry I haven't been commenting in a while. Lots of drama and sadness over here in Arizona. My neighbor's golden retriever died just a few days ago and it's been rough on everyone. Poor doggy. Aw, I knew that pup most of my life. Rest in peace, Seeker. That's so sad and that's literally the first time I read that comment. So now I'm really bummed out. I'm sorry. This, that's sad. We're ending it on a high note. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, the baby keeps me awake at night. <laughs> ah, 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 losing glasses. Oh no. Yeah, I don't like being woken up either, but <laughs> Little Man is the one that wakes me up all night long. Well, guys, that is all for this evening. Um, like I said, we didn't we didn't have a question of the week, but we thought we'd read your guys' comments. Thank you, everyone who's been leaving comments. Jacob says hi. Baby. <laughs> Jake says hi. We're going to go because Jake's going to start crying in a minute or so. But uh, yep. thank you, everyone, for stopping by. If you are new, please leave a comment down below, and maybe eventually we'll read one of your comments in one of these videos. Every Wednesday we do one of these videos, so hopefully we remember. <laughs> maybe one of you guys can tweet us on Monday or Tuesday. Hey, Mike and Andy, uh, don't forget question of the week. And here's that, a suggestion. Here's a suggestion, <laughs> and then that way we don't forget, because life is busy. Yep. So have a fun Wednesday. I know most of you guys are probably cooking for Thanksgiving, like I'm going to be cooking so have fun cooking a ton of stuff. What are you doing with your face? What I want. Oh. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you on the interwebs. Good night. Whoa.